Over the last couple of weeks, I've got to experience three of the biggest triathlons in Europe, being at Ironman Frankfurt, Challenge Roth, and Ironman Austria. So for this video, I'm gonna talk about some of the differences that I've noticed between Ironman racing in Europe and what it's like in North America. First, the atmosphere around the race, it feels much bigger. Ironman Montremblant always gets a lot of credit for having really great atmosphere in the village for the race, but I'd say over here for these three races, it's an even bigger event. Part of that might have to do with the much more relaxed rules that they have around beer gardens here in Europe. Next, they're a lot stricter with water temperature. So I've noticed at a lot of North American races where the water's really warm, but they still manage to find a way to make it wetsuit legal. But last weekend at Ironman Frankfurt and this weekend at Ironman Austria, both were non-wetsuit races, which I've never actually seen a race that's completely non-wetsuit in North America. Some races do have different cutoffs that you should be aware of. So at pretty much every North American race for an Ironman, it's 17 hours, but over here, some of the races are only gonna be 15 hours. So that's something that you're gonna to wanna to be aware of if you're gonna be hovering around that 15 hour barrier. You're gonna have different on-course nutrition. So at every North American race, you have Gatorade and Cliff Gels, whereas over here, there's all sorts of different products that you might wanna try before the race. Finally, flat is all relative. So this is actually something that I first noticed at Triathlon Vitoria last year, and then at Ironman Frankfurt, uh, Challenge Roth, and Ironman Klagenfurt. They're all considered really flat, fast courses, but they are really a lot more rolling than flat. They aren't anything like what you would get in Maryland or Florida or uh, out in Arizona. Racing in Europe would be a really good experience for anyone who has the opportunity. So thanks a lot for checking out this week's video. If you like what you see, you can click the subscribe button down below. And until next time, happy training. Oh, this you crazy mother.